Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm a lab technician in the Live Materials Lab. I'm here to talk to you today about your ants. When shipping your ants to you in the summertime, we may include an ice pack to help your ants stay cool in transit. In the wintertime, we may include a heat pack to help them stay warm. When you receive your ants, they may appear unmoving. It can be due to the cold that they've encountered during transit. It can take up to a half an hour at room temperature before they begin moving again. This is what a vial of warm, healthy ants looks like. When you're ready to place your ants inside the ant farm, please be careful that you don't handle the ants with your bare hands. Ants can and will bite you, and they can inject formic acid into the bite, which creates a very painful sting. When you're ready to put the ants in the ant farm, you need to poke four holes into the gel to help the ants begin tunneling. Take the blue stick provided and poke two shallow holes into the gel. They should be about half an inch in depth. The other two holes should be deeper, about one inch in depth. After you've poked the holes into the gel, you're ready to transfer your ants. You want to take your vial of ants tap it on a hard surface to ensure all the ants fall to the bottom of the vial, and then pour them into the ant farm and replace the lid. Now that your ants are in the ant farm, you don't need to provide any food for them, because this gel serves as the food source as they tunnel through it. If you have any ants that die while they're in the ant farm over the next couple of weeks, the other ants will carry them to the surface. You can then refrigerate the ant farm for about 30 minutes and take the stick provided again and pick them out, or you can just leave them in. If you find that there is excessive condensation on the inside of your ant farm before you put the ants in, you can take a paper towel and blot that condensation out. When you're ordering your ants, please be aware that we do not ship queens with any vial of ants. It is against USDA regulations. All of the ants you receive will be sterile worker ants. We also do not recommend that you mix ants from one vial and another vial or that you add ants from your own garden. Ants from different colonies or ants of different species will fight and attack each other. After a few weeks, you should have an ant farm that looks like this. The ants will have tunneled through the gel and you can enjoy watching them. We hope you enjoy your ants and thank you. If you have any further questions about ant care, you can refer to your Live Materials Care Guide or you can call our customer service number.